And it was the Cambridge, Massachusetts based prosthetic technology company, Myomo, ringing the closing bell today. Pretty neat. A local veteran who survived a stroke banging the gavel while wearing one of this company's bionic arms. Myomo just completed its IPO. The markets were split, but we do have another record close. The Dow finished up 24 points to close at a new record close of 21,384. The Nasdaq was down almost 14 points to finish at 61.51. And the S&P 500 was up about two-thirds of a point to end at 24.33. Market analysis tonight. Chris Hagen is from Advisor Investments. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mike. So how much of today's activity was tied to this Amazon Whole Foods deal? It, it seemed to cover just about every conversation today. Even uh, we saw some humor across Wall Street. Uh, one, of the, one of the jokes we heard today was, uh, you know, uh, if, if um, they're going to pay about $13.7 billion for, for this company, it's, what is that, about 11 bags or so of, of organic berries, some, somewhere along those lines. But uh, definitely a very popular topic today. Some Wall Street humor there. All right. The price was $13.7 billion. Uh, what else do we know about the terms of this deal that are significant? Sure. So um, it's, uh, they're going to be paying about $42 a share for the Whole Foods uh, company at about a 27% premium to Thursday's close. Uh, the deal is expected to close in the second half of this year. What was very interesting later in the day today was that the actual uh, analysts rose the price for uh, the stock of, of Whole Foods in anticipation that maybe some other buyers might come into play. We will see. All right. From your perspective, why is Amazon so interested in Whole Foods? You know, they've been tinkering around in this space, you know, with Amazon Fresh, um, but if they're going to be buying Whole Foods, obviously they're going to have access to 460 new stores all across the country. And from there, they can use different stores as hubs for lots of different things. They're exploring and, they, of course, they're not afraid to tinker with new ideas. They've come up with this, something called Amazon Go in one of the markets where basically you can leave without paying with a cashier because there's cameras everywhere that can detect what you're putting into your basket and it goes automatically onto your Prime membership. So so Amazon is, again, uh, I guess ahead of the curve with what they're trying to do. All right. We reported a couple of minutes ago about how this sale had an impact on the stock of other supermarket companies and other supermarket chains. So why why the big spillover, for example? I mean, like Kroger got took a beating today. Right. So I guess there's a belief with some of these stores. That, well, of course, Kroger. I mean, Kroger was down 19% uh, yesterday and down another 13% uh, today. But they lowered their guidance. They see this, this, this space as being crowded and margins, profit margins are quite low. And we've got somebody like Amazon coming in that's already known to reduce profit margins and they've got tons of cash. Um, it's just going to basically put more pressure on a company like Kroger. But we're also seeing other areas that are being impacted, areas that have, you know, REITs, you know, real estate investment trusts that manage big department stores and big malls that might be centered around a grocery store. They got beaten up today, too. Even companies like Kellogg's as well. All right. Now, briefly, what are you looking for next week, Chris? So next week is um, we've got a, basically a pretty light week, but we're going to get more data related to housing with housing starts. We're also going to see some leading economic data, and then we'll also see the ISM manufacturing and service sector reports next week. A lot of solid information coming out then. Chris Hagan from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Chris, have a great weekend. Same to you, Mike. Thank you.